I'm so sorry. Are you blind? You follow five any stains on my jacket, you're dead. Push them. Did you not see this? The guy is blind. He shouldn't walk next to people. Anyway, don't get me started. What did you want to talk to me about? As you know, last month I got my driver's license. So now I have this great opportunity to drive a car. But the only thing that is stopping me is the fact that I don't have one. And that's what I wanted to talk about. So, in other words, you're asking me to buy you a car. No, 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 no. I'm not asking you to buy me a car. Think of it more like an investment into a present for my birthday. There's one convertible and... Birthday's in six months. Yeah, but by that time... Oh, excuse me. Are you ready to make another, sir? Can we just get another waiter? Sorry? Are you mocking me? Call a manager. Excuse me, but could you repeat, please? Call a manager! Do you always talk to people like that? Dad, you saw everything with your own eyes. The guy works in hospitality. He forgot his duty. His duty is to serve. And on top of that, he's mocking. Excuse me, gentlemen. Is there a problem? Yes, there is. He almost spilled coffee on me by the stairs. And on top of that, he's mocking me in front of my father. We apologize for that, sir. Another waiter will be with you from now on. We have a slight shortage of staff. That's why it happened. What are you going to do about this one? Because this? is incompetent, and he should be punished severely. Benjamin, sit down. Ask the boy to bring us a bill, please. Of course, sir. And please, once again, accept our sincere apologies. No, it's okay. It's okay. Did you say you're short on staff? Yes, sir, but this is a temporary problem. We are already in search of a waiter. Thank you. Sorry for the inconvenience. It's a shame that I didn't teach you to respect other people's work. You don't work. You don't move forward. You always act as if somebody owes you something. I spoiled you. Yeah. That was my biggest mistake. But Dad. Shut up and listen to me. Do you want this convertible? You'll get it. But only after you finish your trial period. Tomorrow, you're going to get a job in this very cafe as a waiter. And if you keep your job for two months without getting fired, we'll talk more about your gift. Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. I'm dead serious. Benjamin, you're a spoiled little brat. And tomorrow, you're going to get a job in this very cafe. You need to grow up, buddy. Her table by the window, please. What, uh, <clears throat> what can I get you? Bring us some coffee quickly and strawberry sorbet. What kind of coffee? You don't understand or what? Bring us normal coffee. What else do you need? <clears throat> What's in your order? I don't know, he didn't say. Did you come to another cafe to bring this coffee? You wanted normal coffee? Here it is. Enjoy. What happened? I didn't hear the order. Sorry? I didn't hear the order. I didn't hear what they wanted. I barely hear even you. Are you deaf or what? 
Are you deaf or... Not deaf. I just wanted to hear what. When did it start? A couple of months ago. Please don't tell anybody about that, okay? Hello? Uh, hi, we heard my another, thank you. Oh, I know, uh, but could you repeat it? Because we have a new waiter and I wanted to double check if he copes well. All right, all right. Uh, two flat white, please. Perfect. Thank you. I promise, next time I'll tell him. Come on, he's a good guy, just nervous sometimes. Well, you know what? You should have a recorder on when you take orders, so that way I could listen to them and write them down I for you. I won't let you work for me. Come on, it'll be fine. Nobody will notice anything. Anyways, you never told me what the problem is with the hearing. Well, let's just say I will be losing my hearing gradually until I completely lose it. Now it can be cured, but it requires a large amount of money, which I don't have. But I will earn it. I will earn it. The main thing is to have time to do that. How much time do you have? About six months. Oh, I must be Harry. I'm getting late for work. Sorry. Wait. You have another job? When do you sleep? There is a small break between them. It's enough for me. Come on, I I'll get you a taxi. Last day at work? Yeah. We'll finally leave the coffee machine alone. I miss it already. Like this one or previous? Maybe previous better. Hey, waiter. Benny? What happened? Is it a joke? What are you doing here, dressed up like this? I, uh... I kind of work here. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get it clear. You mean you work here as a waiter for yes, real? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> My buddy Benny works as a servant. It's so crazy, I can't believe it. Can I get you anything? Yes, um, please, for me, a coupage with no milk. For the lady, some glamorous milkshake. That's all? Ethan, that's the best you can do, some glamorous milkshake? Did your imagination run dry or are you late for manicure that your daddy is paying for? Miss, miss, did you know that his daddy is paying for his manicure? That's so small, oh, man. Why do you take it like this? Why? Why, Ethan? Because you're a parasite. You behave like a parasite. Look at yourself. You live at the expense of others. So grow up and get a job. And I will get your order as soon as I can. Hi, Dad. Hey, Benjamin. Well, I see you're coping with it. Can I get you anything else? No, no, I'm fine, thanks. Um, just want to see how you're doing. It's your last day on the job today, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, Stan can get pretty angry if I'll stay here long. Stan? Our manager. Ah, I see. Well, I guess uh, congratulations. You've kept your word. I'm ready to keep mine. So how much did you say you need for the car? It's like, if, as I understand uh, correctly, your, your main goal is to impress your social aid friends. Actually, you remember uh, Malcolm? Yeah. He's in serious trouble. He's losing his hearing and uh, he doesn't have enough money for the treatment, so I thought, maybe I don't need a car. Maybe I should help my buddy. I I'll pay you back, I promise. It's just, he's short on time. I'm proud of you, son. Like, I really am. Yeah, we can make that work. Thank you. And that's on the house. Thanks.